We live in an age hungry for better batteries. Everywhere phones, electric vehicles, grid storage, the demand is for more energy, faster charge, longer life, lower cost, and safer operation. Lithium-ion batteries have carried us far, but they are approaching limits in terms of raw material scarcity, safety risks, environmental impact, and cost. Into this picture enters an emerging technology, graphene aluminum batteries. These promise to bring together the extraordinary electrical and structural properties of graphene with the abundance and low cost of aluminum. But are they ready to deliver on that promise? This video explores how these batteries work, how far recent breakthroughs have pushed them, what their advantages and drawbacks are, and whether they might become the breakthrough we need. Before we proceed to the video, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. The need for a new battery paradigm lithium-ion batteries have dominated portable electronics, electric vehicles, and energy storage because they offer high energy density, decent lifespan, and reasonably good safety when engineered well. Yet problems persist. Mining lithium, cobalt, and nickel has environmental, geopolitical, and ethical costs. Lithium extraction can deplete water supplies and damage ecosystems. Cobalt mining often involves human rights concerns. Supply chains are vulnerable. Fundamentals. Graphene plus aluminum battery architecture. At its core, a graphene aluminum battery uses aluminum as the anode and graphene in various forms as part of the cathode or current collector with a proper electrolyte, separator, etc. The essential cycle is charge phase. Aluminum metal oxidizes at the anode, releasing aluminum ions or related species that move through the electrolyte toward the cathode. Electrons flow through the external circuit. Discharge phase. The aluminum ions deintercalate or react back toward the aluminum anode. Electrons flow back, generating usable current. Graphene supports several benefits. Increased electrical conductivity, efficient current collection, suppression of internal resistance, mechanical support to reduce damage from volumetric expansion and contraction, and improved thermal properties. Recent Performance Breakthroughs Recent work, particularly from Graphene Manufacturing Group, GMG, working with the University of Queensland, UQ, has pushed performance metrics significantly forward. Some of the key findings, GMG's graphene aluminum coin cells have achieved an energy density of 290 to 310 watt-hours per kilogram, up from earlier values approximately 150 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram. Power density has also jumped to about 9,350 watts per kilogram, a roughly 33% improvement over earlier versions. Cycle life in lab tests has been strong. In one set of coin cell tests with GMG graphene, performance was sustained over 3,000 cycles with minimal degradation, even when using very high charge slash discharge current rates. Cell tests at high C rates. For example, using 2 amps per gram or higher current densities, 5 amps per gram, 10 amps per gram, on cathode material, the cells maintained capacity above approximately 150 milliamp hours per gram, even at these high rates. Advantages offered by graphene aluminum batteries. Pulling together the scientific findings and potential implications, here are the advantages. Higher energy density. Recent coin cell metrics, 290 to 310 watt hours per kilogram, are competitive with many lithium ion chemistries, especially for applications where weight matters moderately, but safety and cost are critical. Extreme power density and fast charging. With power densities of approximately 9,350 watts per kilogram and capacity retention at high current densities, these batteries may charge much faster than typical Li ion cells. Some claims suggest coin cells could charge very rapidly, second scale under ideal lab conditions. Safety and thermal stability. Lower heat buildup during high-rate operation reduces the risk of thermal runaway. The observed approximately 29 degrees Celsius, 
at high current verses. Li Ion's 60 plus degrees Celsius is significant. Less need for elaborate cooling systems means simpler, lighter, possibly cheaper battery packs. Material abundance and sustainability. Aluminum is cheap, abundant, and recyclable. Graphene, especially via improved production methods, e.g. GMG's graphene made from natural gas rather than mined graphite, is trending toward more scalable, lower contaminant production. Improved cycle life lab tests show stable performance over thousands of cycles, even under high currents, which addresses one of the long-standing limits of many alternative battery chemistries. Potential cost reductions in pack integration. If thermal management systems can be minimized or eliminated due to low heat generation, the cost, weight, and complexity of battery packs could fall significantly. Battery packs often include heavy cooling, structural supports, and safety hardware. Reducing that burden offers gains in range, margin, and economics. Limitations, technical and practical challenges. As with any emerging technology, there are significant hurdles to overcome before graphene aluminum batteries become widespread. Scale and manufacturing repeatability. While coin cells and small pouch cells have been successfully produced, scaling up to large pouch cells and then to module and pack scale with consistent quality remains difficult. GMG is only now moving toward pilot plants. Real-world milestones and what's next. Based on recent progress, here are some of the real-world milestones achieved and what remains ahead for graphene aluminum batteries. Milestones achieved. Energy density nearly doubled compared to earlier coin cell versions, from approximately 150 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram to approximately 290 to 310 watt-hours per kilogram. Power density elevated to approximately 9,350 watts per kilogram. Successful coin cell tests over 3,000 cycles at various high current densities, 2 amps per gram, 5 amps per gram, 10 amps per gram, with capacity retention. Multiple pouch cells surpassing 1,000 milliamp hour capacity produced, confirming capacity scale up beyond tiny coin cells. Demonstrated thermal stability under high load, lower temperature rise under high current densities. Could graphene plus aluminum replace lithium ion? The question is, in what applications and on what time frame could graphene aluminum batteries become competitive or even superior? Strong candidates, high power applications, devices or systems that need rapid charging and discharging, such as power tools, load leveling in grid storage, or possibly EV fast charging. Safety critical contexts, Settings where battery fire risk is unacceptable, e.g. aerospace, certain consumer electronics, medical devices. Lightweight or weight-sensitive systems. Because eliminating or reducing thermal management hardware and the ability to operate safely at high C rates may mean lighter battery packs. Off-grid or remote installations, where reliability, simplicity, safety, and durability matter more than the very highest energy density per kilogram. Where lithium-ion may still hold the edge for the near future, ultra-long-range EVs, where weight and energy density per kilogram are critical, though, graphene aluminum is closing that gap. Graphene plus aluminum batteries represent one of the most promising next steps in energy storage. Recent breakthroughs, dramatically improved energy and power densities, thousands of cycles under high current, thermal stability, and scaling toward practical pouch cells, suggest that this technology is moving swiftly from lab curiosity toward real-world application. The advantages in cost, material abundance, safety, and fast charging potential are significant. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. Your support means a lot to us. Take care until the next one and feel free to drop a comment sharing your thoughts. See you soon.